Hello students, now we will start with new topic that is importance of biodiversity. Ecologists said that where there is more biodiversity in a particular geographical area or in an ecosystem, then the community present there is considered to be stable and given a term like stable community. Ecologists believe that more biodiversity leads to formation of stable community. This stable community is resistant to disturbances And also, this stable community is resistant to invasion by alien species. Next, another scientist called David Helmont. He said that where there is more biodiversity, it means year by year, the variations or the mutations like uh, processes are very less in that biodiversity. He said that in more biodiversity, species containing communities year by year there is less variations next others uh, ecologist david tillman David Tillman, he said that where there is more biodiversity, there will be more yield. Other person from Stanford University called as Stanford Ecologist, he gave an hypothesis called as rivet poppet hypothesis, where species richness or richness in biodiversity is essential for all the organisms in an ecosystem. There, very few species, if are extincted, then what happens? He said that, we'll write his name. Paul Ehrlich, a Stanford ecologist, said that from a rich biodiversity ecosystem, Few species types are extincted, then what happens? He also gave a question like if this continues, this year one or two species became extincted. In the next continuity year, again one or two will be extincted. If that happens also, what will happen to the ecosystem? and the biodiversity in that particular area. Answer is explained with the help of rivet poppet hypothesis. Rivet poppet hypothesis. 
which is given by Paul Arlich. He explained that if every time one species or two species are extincted, then nothing happens. Nothing, a minor change will not disturb the ecosystem. But if the same process continues year by year or season by season, then what happens? Then there will be a drastic change in the ecosystem existence and there will be drastic change in the biodiversity in that particular ecosystem. And mostly we will lose many important uh, species and total ecosystem may get crash at one particular time period. This was explained by Paul Ehrlich. He considered each species as a bolt. That bolt only we are telling as a rivet puppet. If every passenger in an aeroplane takes out one bolt, finally the aeroplane gets crashed. The same way, if every time one species is extincted, then after particular time period, ecosystem will be crashed. This is the hint or we can say this is one explanation given by Paul Ehrlich regarding the species existence. We can say this one as major damage. If only one or two species are extincted, then it will be considered as a minor damage. If one or two species are extincted, then it will be minor damage. So this is the explanation given by Paul Ehrlich. Next is causes and the loss of biodiversity. We can say the major cause of loss of biodiversity is by human invasion of the ecosystems. On the land, humans are residing in one particular area. Means they have uh, occupied many, many uh, lands and many ecosystems for their survival like polar regions, deserts, uh, temperate regions, etc. All the ecosystems are occupied by human beings. But still, naturally, there was some particular geographical area for the existing wild animals and also some of the aquatic organisms. But when humans started occupying all the other types of ecosystems where these wild animals are being survived, then there, is, there was created a threat to the existing wild animals of that particular ecosystem. This is only because of human invasion of the ecosystems that are meant for wild animals. in different areas. 
we can see one example that is humans occupied tropical pacific islands it created the extinction of 2000 species of native birds you can take this one as an example when humans occupied tropical pacific islands it led to extinction of 2000 species of native birds and also 338 species varieties of vertebrates next 359 species varieties of invertebrates next 87 species varieties of plants all this extinction happened in a period of 500 years only Five hundred years. In last twenty years, there was disappearance of twenty seven species. Next is reasons of loss of biodiversity. It is explained under few headings like habitat loss, fragmentation, over exploitation, and invasion of alien species. First one, we will start with habitat loss. This habitat loss, it is considered as the major loss that comes from the loss of tropical rainforest. Is the ma major or main loss of tropical rainforest. When humans started occupying that Amazon forest also for the cultivation of soya bean. So, humans started removing some part of Amazon and cultivating or cultivated soya bean there and also why the soya bean is cultivated there only in amazon if soya bean is cultivated in the grasslands then cattle will not get sufficient grass for grazing so for that they did not cultivate soya bean in the grasslands and they brought the seeds here and used Amazon forest for cultivating soya bean. So this total cultivation of soya bean is to protect grasslands which provide sufficient food For grazing cattle. This Amazon area which is considered as a tropical rainforest area. They cover 14 percentage of earth's land. Next reason is fragmentation. Second one, fragmentation. Now, basically, wild animals has to be existed in their particular habitat like forests and everything. But we are splitting those forests where wild animals are residing into bits by constructing meanwhile roads, etc., and we are making them into small small pieces but basically 
wild animals are habituated to live in a wide spread area which is very suitable for them to roam here and there and to be existed on the earth but we are splitting them into small small pieces so that what happens some wild animals may not survive in that small specific area and they are uh, now considered as a threatened species when humans started invading the forests by constructing roads etc they are splitting large geographical area into pieces next is over exploitation under this over exploitation using natural resources more than the required some of the organisms in that particular geographical area got extincted by now when humans started using more natural resources than the required then some organisms like dodo bird stellar sea cow passengers pigeon these few types of organisms got extinct its scientific name is raphus this dodo bird got extinct because it was killed for its meat next to coming to stellar sea cow its scientific name is hydrodamix hydrodamilis gigas next it was killed for its fur killed for meat and skin next is passengers pigeon its scientific name is ectopistis migratorius this was also killed for meat next is invasion of alien species under this what are alien species alien species means foreign species here we have many examples that are present around us that is pardenium plant which we also call as carrot grass also examples of alien species are pardenium plant that we also call as carrot grass
next another example nile perch this nile perch when it was introduced into queen victoria lake it got extincted means this nile perch has eaten nearly 200 species of cichlid fishes what are cichlid fishes cichlid fishes are small colored aquarium fishes like fishes so queen victoria lake it was spreaded with beautiful colorful fishes small small fishes when nile perch was introduced what is nearly the measurement of nile perch it is nearly 1.5 to 2 meters in uh, length like this this much of uh, size will be of nile perch sometimes it can be more than that also when introduced into victoria lake it caused extinction of nearly 200 species types of cichlid fishes next to another example is lantana plant which gives colorful flowers next what are hyacinth which is also called as icornia we also call this one as bengal terror or terror of bengal next so these are few examples another example is there that is african catfish illegal introduction of african catfishes caused extinction of extinction or loss of local catfishes So, African catfish, scientific name is Clarius gariopinus. Zoological Clarius gariopinus.